In this Project Vasari video, we're going to look at using the divided surface feature uh, to create the beginnings of a framework to instantiate pattern-based panels. So we'll start with just a, a simple surface. I'm going to create a model line and I'll make an arc. And I'll click the Create Form button and let's go ahead and set the height of this surface uh, to something around a little taller, let's say around 500 feet. I'll just do it visually for now. Now we've got a surface that we can start to uh, work with. When you select the surface, you'll notice that you have a divide surface button. And your interface is going to be a little longer than me, mine. Mine's uh, kind of scrunched together for the purposes of the video. So we'll click Divide Surface, and that's going to place a grid on the surface. And you can essentially think of that as graph paper on a surface. That's going to allow us to place patterns on this host grid. Now, there's parameters for this grid that we can modify. You'll notice in this submenu, we can change the number of divisions. So if I set that to 5, I've now got 5 divisions, or something even denser like 30. Or we can set it to a distance. We can say every 10 feet. And that'll give us a fixed distance. And you can do that for the U or V direction, which uh, has to do with the underlining surface directions for that, that surface. Uh, you'll notice though that we get a remainder here at the bottom because we're using a fixed distance. We can address that a couple different ways. We can tell it to use a maximum distance. So this basically means uh, stretch out and don't go above 10 feet. Or we could say use a minimum distance, which is no panel is smaller than 10 feet. I tend to like a fixed distance. And then I can use the justification tools by clicking this little icon here and adjusting where the panel justifies from. So now I can say it starts from the bottom and works its way up. And then the remainder is at the top, which we can select and, and modify if we're using a precise dimension for the overall surface. We'd have it be a factor of 10 so that we know it cleans up evenly. And you can also do that on the other side. If we select the surface and click this icon again, you can see some of the other options we have. We can rotate the whole grid, say by 20 degrees, and that rotates it in both directions. Or we can rotate just a single direction by clicking on it over here and saying 20 degrees, and that rotates just one direction. So this is all available to you in the surface grid or the divided surface. We can also start to create our own custom grid lines. Um, let's select the grid and erase it. And now we have a blank surface again. And let's go ahead and just draw ourselves some grid lines. And I'll just push this back a bit. And I'm going to select the reference plane as my current drawing plane. So I'll click Set and click on that plane. And now that plane is drawn and I'll come over to right view and we're going to use reference lines so I'll click reference and I'll do something kind of uh, drastic so that we can see it well and then from here we'll go that way alright so we're going to have lines that cut into the surface based off of these reference lines so I'll select my surface and I'll create a divided surface again. This time in this direction I'm going to set it to 1. And let's set our distance here to 15 feet. And so we've got our grids in the horizontal direction. Or I should say, I guess vertical, because they're going up. Let's adjust our justification. And now to get grids in the other direction, we can select the divided surface. And here in our ribbon, we have intersect. 
and I'll click the intersect button and I can click on these reference lines and by holding control I can add more to my selection and then I'm gonna click the finish button and now you can see that we've got angled grids on our surface and the nice thing is that they're parametric they have a full relationship so if I adjust these grids after those divisions work so what we can do with this is apply patterns so if I select my divided surface and come over to my properties on the left I can select from available patterns and now these patterns are controlled by that underlining grid if I adjust that you can see that my pattern updates there's lots of settings in the divided surface that you can use to control how you start to place the pattern on a surface um, how it aligns to the edges uh, all those things are available to you but this works as an introduction to how the divided surface works in the next video we'll look at making our own custom pattern based family